Today, we will proceed with nodal analysis. First, what is a node? So, as a review, it is the connection between two or more components. So, previously, you have this example. Uh, uh, this circuit, you have a CV circuit involving four components, two voltage sources, then two resistors. And then, we count the number of nodes. So, we have node 1, node 2, node 3, and node 4. So, we have four nodes. Okay? Also, you can imagine it as, for example, we have these players, no? valuable players, okay, as resistors. So imagine them as resistors. Okay, so each resistor is connected to two other resistors, one on each side, right? One on each leg or arm. In this case, arm. So one, two. For example, Kagayama has Daichi and Asahi. So one, two. Then Daichi, Kagayama and Tanaka, one, two. Then Tanaka, Daichi and Chuki, Chuki, Tanaka and Nishinoya. And then Nishinoya, Asahi and Chuki. So every resistor has two uh, components attached to it on each side. Okay? So if we're going to count the number of nodes, we have node 1, node 2, node 3, node 4, node 5. Node 6. So we have 6 nodes. Right? 6 nodes. So in each resistor, 2 components is attached. 2 components are attached on a single resistor. Okay. Next, imagine this group, this group of guys here. So we have 5 as resistors. So we have 5 resistors. And they are connected at this point. Right? All of them are connected at a singular uh, junction. So we have only one node. So it is possible that there are more than two components attached at a single node. Just like this one. So we have one, two, three, four, five resistors connected at a singular point or junction. So we have only one node. Okay. Going to nodal analysis. So we have talked about nodes. Therefore, we can associate it with what? KCL. So nodal analysis is the application of KCL for circuit analysis. Okay. So just like mesh is associated with uh, KVL, nodal analysis is associated with KCL. Hmm. Hmm. Next, what are the steps in doing nodal analysis? So first, Count the number of nodes. That's what we're doing right now. We always count the number of nodes. Next is assign the current flow. Okay. Since we're doing KCL, we need to get what? Or we need to make use of current. So we need to know the current flow. Next, we need to perform KCL per node. Okay. Per node. So... N will be the number of nodes, while N minus 1 will be the number of equations. So previously, in mesh analysis, okay, the number of mesh meshes is equal to the number of equations. So here in nodal analysis, the number of nodes is not equal to the number of equations. Okay? We subtract 1 from it because that number uh, 1 node is equal to uh, one node is called the reference node and it is usually the ground. Okay, we don't have to solve for it. That's why uh, we omit it from the number of equations. Okay, as an example, let's have this circuit diagram solved for nodal voltages V1 and V2. Okay, nodal voltages, therefore, there are they are the voltages at the nodes 1 and 2. Okay. First, let's count of how many nodes are there. 1, 2, 3. 3 nodes. So the number of nodes equal to 3. Next, what is the number of equations? So 
So the number of equations is n minus 1. Therefore, it's just two equations later. Okay. Next, what shall we do next? We need to, okay, we already know the number of nodes. Next is what? Assign current flow, then perform KCL. Okay. Okay. Now, three reference nodes. 